I grew up originally in Houston and went to school at the University of Austin. Got a degree in journalism. I uh, played music for uh, most of my life in Texas, but it sort of ran its course rather quickly and I was looking for another outlet. So I, at 25 years old, I decided to come to New York and pursue this idea of being a painter. I've never been inside of an art class. And this was a real personal pursuit for me, so I, I didn't want to get involved in other people's theories of, of how to paint or uh, how final products should look. These paintings really, for me, represent an internal dialogue I'm having with myself. And my strength, I think, as a painter is in problem solving. Uh, and essentially, each one of these canvases is a, is a problem that I, I create initially. Uh, get very frustrated with, uh, not only with the painting, but with myself, sort of internalizing all of these things. And then the conclusion is almost like this relief to where uh, the problem finally gets solved. Not only compositionally, not only uh, with the color palette, um, but just overall as a final product. I'm not very good at starting painting because I don't really flesh out any of these ideas before I start. It really is just you have a blank canvas and you just start attacking that canvas, basically. I begin to work off of day one. It is largely about how I'm feeling that day. And from every day after that, it's not so much about how I'm feeling as it is, now we're in this thing, we're gonna solve this problem. When you talk about authorship and when you talk about the thread running through a body of work, um, I think the most important thing is that it's all very personal to you. And, and if you can establish that personal connection with your work and you take it seriously, the, the authorship is your life. That thread is your life. And you can track those things as you, as you go through. As far as the sizes of the paintings are concerned, I like large format work. When you're looking at a painting, in particular an abstract painting, if, the more you can get taken into that painting, um, I think the better the experience is for you. The color palettes I have and the color choices that I make, they don't always sort of fit together very tightly. They almost kind of fight each other in a lot of ways. But I like that. I like the conflict. It adds to that sort of velocity that I'm so fond of. And so now I'm working on a series of paintings, which I'm going to be uh, exhibiting in May, um, that has to do with my conception of the Bowery and the larger conception of uh, sort of enjoying the kind of dark and grimy parts of society and not like pushing those aside. Um, because when you homogenize like that, I feel like you're, you're really missing out, even though everything looks a lot cleaner and nicer. Um, and so, and, and, and I mean, obviously the paintings are all abstract, so there's there's no tangible things that, that can really be explained, but while I'm working on these paintings, like this is what I'm thinking about. New York changed for me. Well, after I lived here for maybe six months or a year, I, I came to the realization that the city isn't a place to live, it's more of uh, a relationship that you have. You love it and you hate it, but it's just that thing that keeps you coming back over and over again. And I feel like my, my work is the same. I love it and I hate it, but I'm, I'm compelled to stay. This is why I work in Brooklyn and not in Manhattan. It's because, I don't know, you could work out here and not have to live like an animal so much, you know? And then you, you get to have access to places like this rooftop, to where you feel like you are really a part of everything that goes on. Like, you really feel ingrained in the everyday happenings of the entirety of Brooklyn. I came to New York originally because I was fascinated with the history of New York. In particular, the history of painting in New York City. And I hope this doesn't come off as sounding like too flash. But now my interest lies in what my role in that history is. And the great thing about New York, and I think Brooklyn in particular, is that there's room for that. 
Um, so that's why I stay. That's why I stick around. I mean, you're, you're, this is it. You're basically, this is your life now. And I guess as I get older, like, that makes more sense to me. Because when I was younger, I mean, you just did whatever. Because it didn't feel like it mattered. I feel like it matters now. To me, at least. And that's important. Purpose is important.